Dear children, today we are going to do a program which will check the validity of a given date which is uh, received in terms of DT and MYY format. So here we have got one of the variable which is a static month n which is an array type holding the maximum number of days of the month. Since the year starts from January and its month number is 1, that's why I have chosen index number 1. I have not used index number 0 because there is no such month which starts from 0 index. So January maximum number of days 31, February maximum number of days 28 at index number and so on. In the main method we have declared three variables. One is yy, another is td, third is mm for storing the parts of the date. Here we have got scanner glass, we have got this message enter the date which is in the format dd, mm and yy. We have received the date in this string variable date. And now I'm just separating the parts of the date using this function split. And what it split function does, it receives one parameter on the basis of which the separation is to be done. Here it receives forward slash, which will, with the help of which this split function will extract dd, mm, and y, y part. And it will fill these elements of the date within this array string ARR. Now, further, I'm just converting this date part to integer with the help of this function integer.parseInt function. I'm converting this month part which is which has been stored at index number 1 with the help of this integer.parseInt function and finally it will get stored in this variable mm and so and likewise this yy will get stored. So children first of all we need to make a function and this function is a static function its return type is boolean the name of the function is is leap year and this function is receiving one integer parameter which is year. So if this year part is divisible by 400, if it is divisible by 400, it's a century year and every century year is a leap year. That's why I am returning true. If it is not a century year, but if it is divisible by 100, the function is going to return false because every century year is not a leap year. If any century year which is not divisible by 400, but it is divisible by 100, it is not a leap year. If both the above conditions are false, but if the year is divisible by 4, the function will return 2, means that it's a leap year. So what I want to check for this, I want to just simply call this function as leap year and I just want to pass this yy value. Let us see what it does. Here I am passing 12, 12, 2009. 2009 is not a leap year, that's why this function is returning false. Again, I'm checking for another one. Suppose I'm passing 12, 12, but this time 2008. 2008 is a leap year, that's why this function is returning. This function is working. Now, in order to check the validity of the date, I want to make another function which is static. Boolean is valid date 
int dd int yy int mm. These three parameters we have passed. I put them in order. It will be better if we put them in order. Like here, it is yy. If it is y, y, yes. So first of all, we have to check for the validity of the date, month, and year mark. And how to check that? The date part cannot be less than one. The month part cannot be the month part cannot be less than one. The year part cannot be less than one. And at the same time, the month part cannot be less than one. 12, more than 12. If either of the condition is if either of the condition is true, the function is going to return false. Suppose we entered 0 to 2009, the date is invalid. If we have entered 10, 15, 2009, the date is invalid because the month part is more than 12. So these things I have considered and now the next important thing is if the month part is true and at the same time I have to check for the leap year if it is a leap year then and if it is a leap year and if it is if it is a leap year and if it is the month of February because the rest of the uh, day number in any other month will not change but if it is a leap year then only February will be of 29. So we have to check that range. If it is a leap year and the date is of February, we have to check if the date part is within this range. Within this range means here the date part must be greater than or equal to 1. At the same time, it must be less than or equal to 29. So if this condition is true, the function, this function is going to return true. And if both these conditions are false, we have to check for the range for different months, which is a month of N, month of N of MM. Here, what is the meaning of this statement? The meaning of this statement is that the date part must be greater than zero and it must be less than or equal to the maximum number of days specified in that month of an array. Here we have a specified. You see that here it is December which is 31. Here it is February which is 28 if it is not a leap year. Here it is month of April. It is May. It is June. Like that we have specified. And now I am going to call this function. I want to actually I want to check for the validity of the date. That's why I want to call it if is valid date. If is valid date dd mm dd mm and y y. If this is the case, if this is the case, valid date. If this is the case, it's a valid date. Else, it's not. Not a valid date. It's not a valid date. It's not a valid date. So here you just input two few values 12, 12, 2009. The date is valid. And here again I'm going to execute this program. Suppose uh, it is uh, uh, the date is 12, 13, 2030. The date is invalid because the month number cannot be 13. It will definitely range from 1 to 12. It must be within that. In a similar way, if I am just posting 32, uh, 01, 2010, this cannot be January, cannot be 32 day, uh, as day number. It cannot have 32 day number. So in a similar way, if uh, I'm just changing this value to 31, you see that if it is 31, you see that it's a valid date. So here in this program children, we have made two different functions. 
one function is for changing the checking for the leap year another is for checking the valid date so I am again revising this any year which is a century year but if it is divisible by uh, 100 any year which is a century year but if it is divisible by 100 is not a leap year any year which is a century year and is divisible by 400 is a leap year and if both the conditions are false if that year is not a century year but if it is divisible by 4 it's a leap year and if it is not divisible by 4 it's not a leap year and here we have checked for the validity so again i'm uh, explaining this function if uh, the day month and year part is valid then it will proceed to check the next condition if it is not valid the function will return false if it is valid and if it is a leap year the maximum number of days must range from 1 to 29 if both the conditions are false and if this last condition is true the date is valid the function will return true if it is not true the function will return false and here this if statement if it receives true this if statement if it receives true this valid date message will be printed on the screen if it is receiving false the valid date function will be receiving uh, false then it will display the message not a valid date so thanks for watching this